<laughs> Gonna do a little reading today. <laughs> Page 94 of the Care Package book. Let's talk about it. It says, closure is not going back to the toxic environment that made you sick. Closure is staying away from it, regardless of how bad it keeps trying to bring you on back. So a couple of years ago, me and my good friend Horatio Jones, we came up with this concept called the Combat Trail. So I remember when we were kids, we used to play this game called Oregon Trail on the computer. And essentially, you're one of the pi original pioneers of America, and you're on this trail, you know, looking for new land to, to establish yourself in. And so you're just on this trail. Well, what ends up happening is once you play the game, you kind of memorize the trail. And then you play the game, you just keep going back and keep going back, you keep winning, you keep winning, you keep winning. It's really not a journey anymore because you already know the trail, right? So the comeback trail, it happens in dating, it happens when we're trying to heal, when we're trying to get promoted, when we're trying to stop, when we're trying to lose weight, when we're trying to get in that gym and, and switch our diet. The comeback trail is you just keep going back to the same thing that's holding you back. And it makes sense, right? First, let's have compassion for ourselves. It makes sense, like you've been doing this behavior for years, months, you've done it a hundred times. So it's kind of like a, a routine. But what we have to do is we have to establish in our heads, hey, I can't keep going back to this behavior. My goal, I'm trying to lose 20 pounds of body fat. I can't keep going back to the cookies. I need help. I need to stop buying them. I need to tell people in my house to stop bringing them. I need to stop going to restaurants if I can't control myself. Like maybe I need to uh, look up snacks that aren't cookies and look up stuff like maybe mangoes or apples. Like you have to stop going back to what's hurting you if you're trying to move forward. You and your ex done broke up 17.5 times. Talking about this time it's gonna, it's gonna work out. I'm not telling you not to be, I will never tell anyone not to be with anyone, but what I'm saying is we can't keep doing the same stuff and expect a different result. We have to switch it up. You know, if a, if a particular environment is causing me suffering consistently, the way I see it, I have two choices. I either change the environment or I change my relationship with the environment. Those are the only two choices I see for myself. Sometimes you can change, alter, add value to, manipulate, add input, suggestions to environments. And sometimes you cannot. But you always can change how you associate with the environment and your relationship with the environment. That was from my book, Care Package, Path to Deep Hill.